Hello students, uh, let us solve one more problem from CSIR NET 2023, question ID is 705064, okay. So this is a basically Hall effect question and we know that if you want to measure the Hall coefficient in experimentally you measure basically Hall voltage and the DC formula for this Hall voltage is given by RH VI upon D, where R is the Hall coefficient, B is the applied magnetic field, I is also applied current, D is the thickness of the sample. And when you use DC technique, okay, a offset voltage also comes in the picture. Now, if you want to remove this offset voltage, which generally comes because of voltage mismatch, okay, then you have to use instead of uh, DC instead of this DC field, you can use a AC AC field. Okay, so in this question, they given you B is varying sinus ordinarily. Okay, this is given you sine omega t, and you're using a lock in detection technique. So, lock in amplifier, you can easily remove this DC part because when you apply AC magnetic field, okay, this part remains DC and this can be eliminated out using lock in amplifier. So now when you measure all voltage, that would also come AC. Okay, so this will come your AC all voltage. And this will be your one upon D, R, H, I, and B0, B power B is a function of T. And it can be written as the R, H, I, B0, sine omega T, omega is the frequency. So now when you measure the hall, hall, uh, hall voltage, basically you measure the RMS value of hall voltage. Okay. So the RM, the measured value. Okay. So measured value will be your RMS value. Okay. Measured value. And the RMS value will be your, if you take the RMS value, you know, RS, RMS value is a B naught upon root two. So this will come out your B naught upon root two RH i by d and this is given as option two okay and this is the correct answer for this given question okay hope you understand the question thank you very much